This is Force 13. We're now bringing you the second part of updates tonight on the night of July 21st into the 22nd where we've got lots of systems active around the Pacific right now. In this second update we're looking at the Eastern Pacific storms. Fernanda and Greg in particular and David has those for us now. Uh, thanks, Nathan. Tropical storm uh, Fernanda is currently located at 18 decimal 6 degrees north, 143 decimal 9 degrees west. Maximum winds are 35 knots and is gusting to 45 knots. Central pressure is 1004 millibars. We have on the screen uh, the various floaters of Fernanda. Uh, we have the water vapour. Then we uh, turn to the visible imagery with the sea surface temperature. Now we have a look at Fernanda's track. And Nathan, what do we say about uh, Fernanda looking at the combination of various models. I think it's a rather um, one or two of the models might mislead you into what the rest of them say there. I think the consensus is pretty tight and it looks as though Fernanda will pass just to the north of Hawaii as a remnant low. Now we turn to Tropical Storm Greg. And again, uh, we look at uh, various uh, flaters. Uh, Tropical Storm Greg is located 14 decimal 8 degrees north, 120 decimal 2 degrees west. Maximum winds 50 knots, gusting 60 knots. Central pressure is 1001 millibars. So, uh, Greg is stronger to Fernanda, but with Fernanda now uh, weakening. Well, it's got to get its act together if it's going to stay that way, because it's got an exposed centre of circulation right now. Which won't be helping it. Now we have the uh, RBT top uh, colour floater, and these are via NOAA. The uh, visible floater. The sea surface temperature uh, is around the 28 Celsius and we know Nathan Tropical Systems can survive as 28, low as nice and warm 28 degrees for yep. a storm. Now the water vapour and also uh, showing up a bit of uh, his uh, track. Now we go to the latest uh, track chart from the NHC. As you can see, not particularly committed to any significant strengthening or weakening there. Remaining a tropical storm for the foreseeable the next five days. Now we turn to this uh, image, which would be dry air for the East Pack region. And Nathan, uh, your thoughts on this image? Uh, we uh, have uh, quite a bit of uh, activity on the uh, tropical radar, but considering the number of systems in the East Pack, um, what do we say about the? dry air. Well it's been a feature for a while and uh, well that is quite a lot of dry air there in the way of Greg Fernanda what was left of 8E Fernanda is a shell of itself and I think it will be declared a remnant low very soon um, if that convection stops firing and then you've got Greg which is um, it's the one further west there, isn't it? That's on the edge, and behind that you've got the Invest, and you've got 9E. Now, those are in a good environment for now. But as you can see, uh, Greg there, 
pretty small. Uh, the remnants of 8E have expanded uh, laterally, or longitudinally rather, um, down there towards the southwest of Greg, if you can see it on the map. Uh, David, yeah, over there, and David was just pointing there at the new uh, Tropical Depression 9E on the far right, which could become another named storm in the active Eastern Pacific. Any more comments, David? Uh, at this uh, stage, I appreciate uh, being a part of this update, and uh, in the studio, it's back to you, Nathan. We've also got to point out something that's been happening recently. Uh, some people have been pretty rude to David in our videos, um, which has been a somewhat prominent feature. It is a minority, um, but I, for one, stand behind David and the updates that he produces. And let's not forget, when there is a significant storm, um, David will be remembered for all of the coverage he provides us, and the people who uh, diss on him will certainly not be remembered. Now, as we move on to what's going on elsewhere in the tropics, Fernanda, Greg, 99E and 9E all active in the Eastern Pacific, but that's not the only thing going on right now. We've also got on the other side of the world four other systems, uh, that five other systems that are active. Even I'm losing track. 8W, 10W, 99W, Tropical Storm Noru and Tropical Storm Kulap, which was covered in our earlier update tonight with Cesar. Um, Watch that if you're interested in what's going on over in the western side of the Pacific, but that's where it's all going on right now across that ocean and those two systems in the South China Sea area as well. That's all from us tonight. We'll be back again with more updates tomorrow. Uh, that would be July 22nd, by the way. Obviously, the time zones can be a little bit misleading throughout this Saturday. And uh, stay tuned for more. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.co.uk at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, the channel, search Force 13, all in text, and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also find us on Facebook at Force 13, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter, that's the handle to contact us there. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype, that's F double O L 13, and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>